Declined Victim Card Stories According to Reddit Number 15 An employee was being fired for a multitude of infractions. We worked at a coffee shop and had been caught by management swearing at the customers under his breath. And several customers had also reported his bad behavior. He was constantly late or would leave early or beg others to cover his shift. Instead of restocking or cleaning the area during downtimes, he would take out his drumsticks and practice, which annoyed the other customers and also the employees. During inventory counts, we noticed whole pallets of sandwiches and or baked goods would go missing, as well as bottled drinks, etc. We were mysteriously out of huge five pound bags of the espresso roast. The numbers were not adding up. He was subsequently fired after being caught badmouthing a customer while a visiting manager was also in the cafe. The guy blamed all of these issues on everyone else. Late to work turned into, I missed the bus or my roommate forgot to wake me up in time. Leaving early turned into, well, I got a call for a gig. What, there was a concert I wanted to see? I love it. It's like, how is, how is that? How is that anybody else's fault? Uh, food missing turned into, I didn't have money, money to eat. And it's the company's responsibility to ensure that I'm fed while on the clock. Amazing, you know? It's, a, it's like, a, like, a, like imagine a cop pulls you over for speeding and you're just like, listen, officer, you're supposed to serve me and I'm bored. And the only way to not have me be bored is to allow me to speed. So you better serve me by allowing me to go fast. I'm like Sonic the Hedgehog, officer. Calling customers names turned into they misunderstood me. Management said what part of calling a customer <laughs> a dumb fuck is a misunderstanding. Followed by, not my fault they're too sensitive. Okay, bro. Okay. All this dude's problems were blamed on everyone else, and all his issues and his situation in life was blamed on everybody else. Us employees stopped inviting him out because at bars, he would order drinks and tell the bartender one of us was covering and skip out or leave rapidly before the check was presented to us. He would also walk around tables when people got up to dance or talk in a group and guzzle down their drinks. What a foul. You have to wonder how he ever makes it past the first invitation. And as sick and sorry as this behavior is, there's some desperate lady out there that's willing to put up with it. Pathetic. He's just an all around poopy person. <laughs> found out after he was fired from our store that he was hired by a Starbucks in the mall who failed to call for a reference or even even though our store was listed as a previous place of employment. He was caught stealing money and food from there too. Moy, this moy, sorry, boy, this, this guy's skin must have been white as the driven snow because one of these seemed to, to have him admitting to theft you know, oh, it's the, it's the company's responsibility to ensure that I'm fed. That's that doesn't excuse theft, my dude. Holy bing bong. Let's get through this list. Number 14. This guy got upset saying that we were always talking about him behind his back. He would creep up to the door in our apartment and stand there listening to our conversations. <laughs> Can I help you, man? <laughs> of course, we would talk about him. Nice. He owed two of us over $600 and refused to pay it. What y'all lending the money in that amount for people for? Especially when you're curious about um, whether or not you're going to get it back. Hey, a friendly tip from Kyle. Do not lend anyone money that you're not willing to just commit away. You know, consider any money that you're lending to people, money that you're just flushing down the toilet and allow it to be a pleasant surprise if they give it to you back. Because if you can't stand to lose it, don't give it away, assuming that people will take care of business and get it back to you. People got a real funny idea of what 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 they should owe you, even when you're giving it's, it's ridiculous when they're begging you for it. You know what I mean? Weird. And then 
we were bad people because we would talk about it in our apartment, not knowing he's creeping around the door. Right. <laughs> this just this is pretty great, you know. This is pretty good stuff. Here's hoping you're having a wonderful day or evening, whatever it may be for you. You know, I'm busy. I need to make some cash. Got to get some things figured out. I really want Borderlands and I really want Modern Warfare for the PS4. But um, it's not as simple as just having it for me anymore. I want these for Dia as well because they are multiplayer endeavors. So need to hurry up and finish some projects so that that'll that'll happen. However, if you have money that seems to just be falling out of you, you don't know what to do with it, you can go ahead and bless me with it. You already know where the links are. Check that description, boy. Oh my god. Number 13. My ex-husband got arrested for... Okay! Come on now. My ex-husband ha- got arrested for having a CP on his computer now. He blamed me? Saying it was my fault that he was so depressed that he went looking for it. Well, that's a new one. You know, that's a new one. <laughs> I'm not, I'm no expert when it comes to cases where, where dudes get exposed for having, you know, bing bong on their hard drives and shit. But, you know, you have to imagine that insanity or, you know, there's something wrong with me. has got to be like a crazier excuse. Not that, you know, it's because I'm so depressed. My wife, she just makes me sad. My life is over. But the young girls, or the young boys, God, it's gross. Either way, either way, it's gross. Either way, it's gross. Oh, either way, it's gross. I want to review um, the It movies for you guys, but I'm not sure who'd be interested in that. So I might as well just dedicate that time to making some money so I can set up Modern Warfare and uh, Borderlands instead of, instead of screwing around on this YouTube channel. Number 12, my sister's friend was beaten up by her boyfriend and stayed the night downstairs of our house with her three kids. Sorry downstairs of our house uh just confused me a little bit but you know i understand my sister's friend was beaten up by her boyfriend so they came over to stay you know in our basement with the three kids next day he comes around starts cursing her out saying that she stole his kids grabs the baby starts walking away with him she chases him trying to get the baby back and he punches her several times in the face My brother intervenes and separates them. This a-hole leaves and brings back the cops to arrest my brother for assault. Ain't that just the way it goes? And sometimes it falls down to whether or not the woman wants to press charges. So a lot of women are getting abuse. And because they're not going to, you know, speak out against the guy, um, nothing's going to happen. Which is wild because think about how many women aren't abused by dudes, but lie and say that they are just so they could get the the dude in trouble. I was watching a public freak out today. Oh, my God. I think it was like it was a it was a it was a girl just beaten. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck, bro? Get out my car, guys. I'm getting out. And that's the whole thing is him just going, get out the car, get out the car. And of course, she jumped back in the car trying to take the keys back and all kind of nonsense like this song as old as time. And of course, it you know, evolves into a full blown yeah. her just trying to attack the dude for whatever reason. Yeah, because you, you're acting you're acting a fucking fool, you know, and, you know, it is what it is. But if he were to defend himself, it's all over. It's all over now. It's over 3000. Yeah. Shout out to my Marvel fans. That is not how that quote goes. Ooh, I haven't recorded an offline list for a while. Feels feels nice and special talking to myself. I have to imagine I'm talking to myself all the time. But, you know, the fact that you guys are, you know, over there in the chat just makes it a little less like I'm crazy. But I'm probably crazy now. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Sorry. Number 10. I lost a lot of weight, 
150 pounds? Boy, was it tapeworms? Can you throw them tapeworms over here? I used to be pretty. And then I gained a billion pounds. Okay. And I tried to leave it to my channel to shame me into losing weight, but that's not right. I shouldn't mill their pockets trying to get me to lift when I should have the discipline to lift enough on my own. The only time I should mill my, my subscribers' pockets is when I'm imploring you to get me Borderlands 3 and Modern Warfare for the PS4. Aw, damn. Number 10, sorry. I lost a lot of weight, 150 pounds. My overweight friend didn't. Uh-oh. Now you the pretty one. <laughs> That's not right. You can't imply that having weight makes you unpretty. What if it's like being gay? And if you gay, then you can talk about gays. And if you fat, you can talk about fats. I'm fats. So I can talk about the fats. Fats on fats. And that's that's. That's not funny. That's not funny. Ooh, you're gay. Listen, my overweight friend didn't lose weight, but I don't care. She's my friend. I love her. I tried on a pair of size 12, size 8 in the US jeans, but they were too big, so I asked for a smaller size. Before I could try them on, my friend stormed out of the shop, and when I followed her, she screamed at me for rubbing my weight loss in her face. I lost the weight in 2015, I've been this size for 4 years. She thinks she's so great cause she lost all her weight. She's not as good as she used to be. Oh my god, the women. Women, please. Take it easy. There's someone out there that likes you for you. There's someone out there that likes everyone for exactly who they are. If we want to be real about it. The unfortunate truth is, there's no way in hell that you're coming across that person. There's also a likelihood that that person's already mixed up in something. Like a relationship, you know what I mean? The perfect person for you <laughs> could already be in a relationship. Somebody they barely like, somebody they're settling with. Maybe some dumb hoe that was like really young and she was throwing the booty at this dude, you know, in high school or some crap like that. And then they got knocked up and ended this dude's life straight up, you know, because he's too loyal and kind and hardworking and genuine, sincere to, to, to look elsewhere. This is his lot in life. So he feels he should just earn make the money support this lady maybe she don't feel the same way because she's so desperately wanting to be f needed and seem significant to people other than her husband and her children you know even like animals aren't doing it for her so she she needs to find somebody that you know sees her the way that they would see a single woman <laughs> Oh, y'all married ladies. Y'all going through something, huh? I guess we all are at the end of the day. It's wrong of me to be amused by it. But hey, if we can't be amused by each other's misery, you know, we're going we're gonna to die inside. If we don't laugh, we will cry. Laugh because, laugh because it's outrageous, you know? Laugh because it, it, the situation doesn't dictate that you should laugh, you know? You should feel terrible. You should feel sad. You should be depressed. But instead, laugh. Be in control of that. Choose to laugh. I just heard Dia laughing from the other room. Number nine. My friend's sister. <laughs> she doesn't feed her kids, nor send the oldest one, who's seven years old, to school. Her neighbors reported her to the CPS. And now she's posting statuses about how cruel people are for separating a mother from their kids. Yeah, as long as you just get all of that responsibility clean off of you. I can't believe those people. Yes, your kids. It's your business how you raise your kids, right? A million lashes if that's how you want. That's just your parenting style, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Number eight. My crazy college girlfriend cheated on me and then blamed me for causing problems in our relationship by being obsessed with the truth. Wait up. Yo. The lyrics wouldn't come, ladies and gentlemen. I consider myself a naturally musical person as far as like the, the amount of words that'll float through my mind at any given time. They don't need to rhyme. I, I, they, they'll just come out of me when I really sit down. But flabbergasted I am. Flabbergasted I am. Mm -hmm. Much to learn. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate is because of your ex-girlfriend. 
You're telling me <laughs> she said you were obsessed with the truth. What is it with you and the truth? You're obsessed. Ugh. The world isn't about, like, what's right, okay? It's about what I can convince people of. And I'm gonna dye my hair and just tell everybody you you fucking you held me down and you smacked me. And and I'm gonna look at look at I'm gonna knife myself up and tell them that you did it. You did it, you you bastard. You you subhuman. Then I'm gonna get the guys on my this hey Jeremy, this is who the guy I'm talking about. This is the guy? How dare you do this to so sweet a woman? I'll save you. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It kills me inside. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Guys, I pray. I hope. I dream. And I beg of you. If you're in a situation. If you're in a situation that's terrible. That's horrible. That's terrifying. That's horrifying like this get out of it and you know what the crazy thing is you may not think it's as bad as it is but your brain does okay so what i want you guys to do is become masters of the objective okay and not just the objective like the the focus or the goal i mean be objective take your situation and throw it on to somebody else if somebody came to you right now and they explained the situation that you're in to you as if it were to them, you would probably immediately come to the conclusion of what needs to happen, who needs to do what, what needs to be said, where people need to go, what needs to be the focus. Because it's easy. It's easy to, to act and figure shit out when it's not happening to you, my dude. But you can possess the capacity to see things from another perspective if you try, if you train yourself to. You already know that what you're in the midst of isn't right. So whatever's keeping you from it, whatever has you convincing yourself that you don't, you just need to stay in the situation, it's bad. Don't let it happen. And I'm going to continue. Number eight, my crazy college girlfriend cheated on me and blamed me for causing, you know, problems in our relationship because I was obsessed with the truth as I figured out what happened. <sighs> yeah. Somebody says better to be obsessed with the truth than with a lie. Poem for your sprog responds. I cannot believe you, she cried with dismay. I gave you my love and you threw it away. I gave you my heart and my beauty and youth. And what did I get but obsession with truth? There's only a singular thought in your head, and that's why we can't be together, she said. I sighed in the silence and spoke to her slow. Or maybe, just maybe, is cause you a hoe. Oh, drama. Hello and welcome once again to another Kyle list. You know, you're one of the lucky few in the world, on the internet, that has the pleasure of being part of this extremely close-knit, niche, quiet, you know, off the beaten path, little community on the internet, my dude. People don't know about this. And by the time they find out, it'll be too late. Then one day, this, this channel's gonna get Thanos snapped so hard that you won't be able to say poop de poop de pints before it's gone. Shifty, shifty five. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let's get out of here. My lord. Show your appreciation in the, de in the, de in the description. <laughs> Number seven. Facebook drama from a few years ago, the girl was leaving a bar drunk. She backed her car into the car of someone that she was an acquaintance with while exiting the parking lot. The next day, went off on him for telling the police that he saw her do it when he knew she was poor and could have just said he didn't see it and had insurance pay. So it's his fault that you backed into the car. Also, you were drunk and you were driving. She kept digging a deeper hole, and all the replies were like, bitch, don't drive and drink. It was glorious. It's sad because, you know, in that hoe's mind, everybody else is wrong and rude. But you're the problem, lady. You're the problem. Because there's a technical truth in what she's saying. 
if the dude hadn't said anything and the insurance would have just paid it. But this it's not about that. It's about you taking responsibility for your actions. You were drunk and got behind the wheel. You're lucky to be alive and you're lucky that nobody else died. But what would be the excuse if that were to have occurred? <sighs> Number six, dirty ass people. Yeah, there go my monetization. Did you just say a swear word, Kyle? Not on our website. Do, 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 do. We are YouTube. Do, 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 do. You make videos for our kids and people with limited, limited intellect, I guess. You know, weird. Any curse word is bad. That's strange, YouTube. What happened to you? What happened to you? Did you know that YouTube used to be dope? Hey, for real, anybody listening to this video, like you're just screening it to like <laughs> to see if there's, I don't know, like some kind of plot to, to assassinate somebody in there, you know, but for real, this site used to be dope, man. And now everything's just, oh, it's over the top. Okay. Number six, I quit my job and set up my own competitive or com. <laughs> your brain how about that Kyle how you like that huh competing competing <laughs> you know my brain was like um <laughs> okay yo what he wants to say is competing okay yeah Ugh. yo it was like a Pokemon battle in my head and uh you know missing no showed up the glitch Pokemon, and it got me good, man. My brain was like, need a reboot. Number six, I quit my job and set up a competing business with my ex employer after he failed to pay me for two months, claiming non payment for the, from the clients. He got away with not paying you for two months when most people get paid, um, um, every two weeks. Most people get paid every two weeks. So if there's six um, weeks in a typical month, right? Is that right or are there five? One, two, three, four. No, there's about five weeks in a month, um, give or take. So let's say that uh, over two months is probably about uh, probably about ten weeks. My gosh, you got fucked. <sighs> he had a massive go at me, which is to say he got in an argument with me after I confronted him with receipts from the clients to show that payment occurred. He accused me of making him look bad in front of his clients and that he didn't owe me money because some people are bosses and some people are employees. Now, I want this to be a lawsuit of, of like, un, like, how can I, and you know what, I guess in life you just, you just get what you allow sometimes, and that really sucks, but this is where we are. The dude says, hence why I quit the job and set up for myself, because last time I checked, slavery is illegal in the UK. I also warned a few of my ex-coworkers to be careful and not let him rack up debt with them because of what he did to me. I take him to court, hallelujah, to try to recoup the money that he owed me from the work that I completed, and the judge ruled in my favor for the full amount of just over 4,000 pounds. This is wonderful to hear. He plays the victim card with everyone he knows and says that I made him and his family homeless despite the fact that he never paid me a penny of money owed. 4,000 pounds is like five to six months rent, in a decent neighborhood in my city. Honestly blows my mind every time I think about it. Short story, the dude stole 4,000 pounds from me, never pays me back, blames me for making his family homeless. Hilarious. How you, how you going, how you being made homeless when you're not paying, you know? Number five, okay, let me get out of here. When I was teaching, I had a student I adored who had some behavior problems. Did you just say problems? It's okay, Kyle. I'm here for you. I'll give you the money. You will? I'll get you Modern Warfare 
for PS4, Kyle. I'll do that for you. You do that for me? Wow. <laughs> I'm so sick. You know, I get really hot really easily too. You know, but not the sexy type of hot because um because I because I'm not the one who lost the weight. That bitch got a, a smaller size just to rub it in my face. I did everything that I could to support him. One day we were taking a test and he was talking. I reminded him several times that t talking during a test is not allowed and I would have him go to the hallway if he continued. He continued to talk. So I told his ass to go into the hallway. He called me autistic on his way all out, his favorite insult. So I wrote him a referral. I called his parents, they did not answer. So I sent an email explaining what happened and why he got a referral. And I hoped that we could work together to help him manage his reactions. His mother responded saying that my behavior is unacceptable and that she is done speaking with me and will hear from her lawyer. She went all the way up to the district level to complain about me telling all sorts of lies and making me look like a horrible person. I don't teach anymore. That's tragic. That's pretty tragic. Oh, wow, well, people are unbearable. People are truly unbearable. Number four, my cat plays with the closet door and sometimes shut himself in. Then I get an angry cat yowling at me to let him out. The cat like, acts like I'm the one who locked him in here. Get out of here, cat. Victim card declined. <laughs> uh. Somebody said, or cats that want to leave the room right after they entered. It's like cats are like, what's going on in there? Let me in there. Let me in there. What's going on in there? Come on. What's going on in there? Oh, my God. You let them in and they're like, oh, this place still sucks. <laughs> Yeah, it's like cats and dogs have no idea what, what like, uh, like no definition of time. So they assume that you're just, woo, it's been like a year since you've seen this, since you've seen me, since you've seen what I'm doing. Check all of this out. Number three, an older lady walked into a construction area where she knew she wasn't supposed to go just to snoop around when the workers weren't there. Then she sued because she slipped on plastic floor covering she worked there she knew the area was off limits and did it anyway i hope she didn't get any money somebody said how did the lawsuit turn out and this dude says settled as in they gave her something mm, whatever man so number two i was in line in my car to enter an amusement park all of a sudden, the car in front of me threw on their reverse lights and backed into me hard. I got out and I was talking to the driver, a 17-year-old girl, about what I needed, her driver's license and insurance information. She kept trying to delay me, giving me the info because she wanted to call her parents first. Fine, no problem. She calls her dad, and as they were talking, she calms down and her face lights up. She turns to me and says loudly and in a snarky tone while holding the phone toward me to get my reaction. Did I hit you or did you hit me? Because before I backed up, I checked my mirror and my passenger checked hers and you weren't there. And then all of a sudden we felt a hit. I replied, are you implying I rear ended you? I'm not sure, but I think you might have. I point to my car. Do you see that little thing beside my rear view mirror? That's a dash cam. And it's been recording you since I left my house and is currently recording our conversation. Now, if you want to go this route, we can, but the police are going to be notified. Now she starts crying. Good, record these sluts out here lying. The only thing that's gonna change their fucking tune is knowing that you're being recorded. So change it up all you want and let, let what happened and your mind just, oh, I was confused because I'm stupid, my dude. I'm an, I'm an idiot, my dude. But you know what's not going to be inconsistent? This video that's recording you. This robotic footage has absolutely no feelings towards this interaction. And when I rewind it, it's just going to play what happened, my dude. I hit you, though? Shit. We could set that up if that's what you want, but you ain't worth it. 
you ain't gonna be worth it to the, the judge neither she starts crying on that ass says on the phone no dad he has a dash cam and it's recording everything then come the waterworks she starts trying to get me to talk to her dad that he'll take care of it etc etc i got the info out of her and had to get the front end of my car fixed too long didn't read a dash cam saved my ass whoa Wait a bing bong ass minute. Is this real life? Is this real life, sweet Jesus? Wait, hold on. Are you for real, you dirty hoe? We don't get footage often, ladies and gentlemen, but there it is. <laughs> You, she was gonna try the old switcheroo. Are you sure you didn't hit me? I'm a woman. Eh. <laughs> Number one. Okay, as we complete this list, this tormenting, hellish list of me and hell. I'm so hot. I'm burning up. The sweat's dripping off my face. But it's okay, because I do it for who? For you. I love you all. I love the stream. And if you want to hit me back, all you got to do is, is hit that paypal.me slash Kyle and, and hook me up so modern warfare can happen. I believe in you. Number one, local business owner slash friend asked a lot of us his regular questions to invest in his, wait, his regular customers to invest in his new business in Atlanta. He wanted us to buy shares. Oh boy. I bought in knowing that we wouldn't break even for at least three years, but that he could sell religion to the Pope. What? Had losses for two years. We break even at three years, as expected. Four years in, he closes the Atlanta store and opens in another town, but this time he's doing it all with his own money. Bullshit, he's doing it with the inventory and processed and proceeds from the Atlanta store, even has a shiny new house, cars, and works for his own new venture. He's shocked to the core and hurt, hurt and disappointed when the shareholders took him to court. Oh, good, 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 good. I hope you pay out the ass and I hope that you see, you get your ass at so's. You, the so's is not the, the past tense. Somebody said, did it get settled? Nope. For various stupid but money-related issues, most of us cut our losses. Wow, dude. That's crazy. It's crazy how, like, people don't understand how costly jumping through the hoops of the legal system is. Hey, look, Cringetopia is at the, the top. Do I look like L from Death Note? Um, boy, you look like something. Boy, you look like something. Oh, boy, look like you look like an extra that could be killed in the It movie. You see what I? You see what I did there? You see what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. See y'all later. Love you. Stay out of trouble. Hope you do what you do. You may not see me for a little bit, but I'll be back. Just need to earn some cash. But if you want to donate something off stream. It'll come roping me. Um, you know what I'm talking. It'll be like it'll be like uh, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Get over here! I'm kidding. Um, where is that thing that I click? Thank you to all my sponsors for being amazing. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, right round. Sponsors. Special thanks to my patrons. Um, you guys take me around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. Uh, Daft Punk song for you. <laughs> uh, I gotta be. If, if I got on your nerves personally, uh, click the thumbs up button during this list. And uh, and if you really, really were genuinely upset by me and you thought that I was annoying and I bothered you in a way that you really want to let me know about, go ahead and follow the PayPal link in the description to uh, 
to donate and leave a message so that I can understand what's going on. Just tell me the true, true. I got your back back. I'll see you later, later. Um, Got to grab a snack snack. Not true, but it rhymed. Bye.